Hi, in this video we will add a player to our scene. But first of all, let's resave the scene as a new scene to our tutorials folder, scenes, and I'm going to call this tutorial 02. I'm going to use the camera from the example scene because it has already all settings. So let's go to prefabs, character, and drag and drop the camera to the scene. I will not use this player prefab because it has already components that we don't use right now. It has stats handler and uh, equipment handler and so on, and this is not set up for our scene. Instead, I'm going to drag and drop the prefab from the third person controller. Then I will position the camera and drag and drag the brad a little bit to the side. Let's ba bake the lightning, go to window, rendering, lightning settings, drag the directional light to the sun source and hit generate lightning. Then select the bread and set the use distance to maybe 1.2. You can see the affected distance by this circle. So if you change the use distance, you see uh, that the circle changes also. But we will keep it by 1.2. We can pick up this item with left click or the key. And the key is F. So let's uh, hit play. As you can see, we get a warning or yeah, an information that there are two audio listeners. So let's delete this main camera. We don't need it anymore because we have a third person camera. Now we can control our player and when we cl come close to the bread, we can pick it with F. Right now we don't have any mouse control, um, only with left control you can get the mouse and then you can um, drop the bread to the scene. To change that, uh, we will make the inventory hidden by default. So I select the inventory and click on hide. You can also hide it inside the UI manager. And make it visible in game on play mode when uh, the key code I is pressed. So let's test this. I press I, I get my mouse control and the inventory. I want to display a visual indicator uh, when the player is close enough to pick up the bread. So I'm going to prefabs, UI, and drag and drop the trigger tooltip to our canvas. Then I select the bread and add a display trigger tooltip. Here you can enter a title. Mostly this will be just bread. And then the instruction what to do. If you change the key um, with the key F, you have to go to the trigger tooltip and then change it here. I will, I will keep F key as a pickup key. Let's hit play. 
then when we cl get close enough to the bread we get the title bread and F with an instruction pickup. Okay, as you can see, we don't get a message when we drop this item. So we need uh, to apply the changes to the prefab because when you drop the item, it will still use the prefab from the prefabs folder and it doesn't have any um, display trigger tooltip component. So let's select the bread and apply all changes to the prefab. 